Linda and Trish from the Bees Knees. Um, spring has sprung, it's really lovely here. Beautiful I hope place. it is where you are. Yes. Um, nobody's in the line of any of these crazy storms that are going across the country. Yeah, yeah. We feel for those. Um, we're here to launch a new product. Launch a new again. product. <laughs> again. <laughs> Forest Gump style, maybe. Um, <laughs> and to just remind you, in case you've forgotten, it's Easter this weekend. Yes, um, on Sunday. We've been harping on about a bit, you know, a bit about it, but um, it's Sunday. We've still got loads of stuff left. We've got uh, Easter eggs, we've got some here on the counter, the bars and the, you know, egg bags and things like that. So come to the store, they're all here. If you're celebrating Easter a little late, we can still ship. Um, select I mean, we priority can shipping. Yeah. Select priority shipping or even faster if you realise that you didn't have everything you need, we will get it out. Um, I would say that would mean mid to east coast. Mid to east we coast. are on the east coast, everything ships from here. So if you're in California, you might be on a bit of a skip. Texas, route. California, it might be too late. But we still, if you're local, come into the shop. We have lots of Easter eggs left and everything. So um, yeah, okay. we'd love to see you. Yeah, so let's launch into it. This is a, um, a very small pottery in Stoke on Trent, very near Emma Bridgewater actually, mm -hmm. uh, but a lot smaller. Um, and they make these wonderful mugs. It's called Moreland pot Potteries. And when on our recent visit, um, Donna and I went there because uh, it was on the way back from dropping you off. You missed it. Oh, <laughs> next time. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> so they make these mugs. They're a stoneware mug, and I'm going to sort of oh, grab one. I'm ashamed almost to say I'm drinking my tea out of one and I never said I said I'd never drink out of a stoneware mug I usually go for bone china but it's actually a very fine stoneware it's not heavy and clunky at all it's actually quite thin uh, beautifully made it's got this concave edge and you can just like hold it it really yeah. is a nice mug it's wide a little shallower than usual I think so an unusual shape I call it a stout mug it's stout um, <laughs> And there you are, Morland Pottery, made in England. And at their factory, they actually have one of the bot what do they call it? Bottle, bottle kiln. Bottle kiln, yeah. Um, they don't use it, obviously, nowadays. They're actually protected buildings. So they've actually renovated it. They're doing a wonderful job there. Um, so we went in and they showed us around. They hand pour these mugs into moulds. They're all handmade um, and they design them themselves. And so I think what's so fun is they're totally whimsical designs aren't they? Have, they? We had um, to calm down when we were ordering because we were just yeah, yeah. They crazy. have a very quirky sense of humour in yeah. Stoke on Trent and they make mugs for all over the country but we, we had to be really tough and only select a few because they do do hundreds. Yes. <laughs> so we started off, we went for some farmyard animals. Here we have some pigs um, all the way around there and a lot of these are black and white but some have a splash of colour. There's the cows, the highland cows. What is it about them again? just love Highland cows and they keep buying them and I think that is a spectacular Highland cow I mark. think they're the cutest cow out yeah <laughs> so um we have other sheep things they're quite similar actually but these are woolly bikers they're on their bikes there you go <laughs> woolly jumpers a jumper in England is a sweater so it means they're wearing their sweaters that have sheep on them so cute <laughs> oh my god and then the tartan sheep which are Scottish obviously there we go. Um, and then whilst oh, we're there, yes. we've got one tea towel just to try them out. And it's actually nice. It's 100% cotton, made in England, and matches the woolly jumpers. So, so cute. cute. That's so cute. A bit of that so cute. <laughs> okay. um, this one as well, look, it's very subtle. It's got colour, but it's not hitting you in the face there. It's just all those goats all the way around. There we go. Uh, something for the cat and dog lovers. Kitten club and cat. Look at the kitten club, they've got their shirts uh, and ties so on. So cute. Um, dogs, we have the dog walker. Look, that's called take the lead. And that's a dog begging for a walk. And on the other side, it's it's a dog's life. Yeah, what's nice is them that they're pattern, you know, they, all the way they're around. decorated all the way around. Yes, and this is a sheep dog with his sheep. All looking over the wall. And this one, love oh, this yeah. one. Yeah. Put the kettle on. I posted it's something so today funny. about when Bill Bryson commented about how so many people can get excited about a hot drink, but we do. That, that's us, so a mug like that just speaks to our love of tea. <laughs> yeah. Then there's some regional sayings that we've all heard. And in, they say this is a northern saying, but they said it in my area. I used to say it. Flipping egg. Flipping egg. Oh, flipping egg. Is that you yeah. say? <laughs> What have you done now? You might say, oh, darn it here, but we'll take it. Flipping it. 
There's also one that says e-bike girl, which is a northern saying, which I couldn't find. Is that Yorkshire that really e-bike girl? It is. It's like yeah, saying yeah. e-bike girl. It's hot today. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do that one. That's great. And this one says, "What's on the menu today?" Um, it's pasties, fish and chips, ice cream, and a very tasty scone with jam and clotted cream. So the menu for the what the seagulls I think are hoping to get <laughs> from yeah. the beach, maybe. That's a nice one. Um, this one is Bonnie Scotland. I should have put in with the tartan sheep. You should. Um, that's some lovely old houses there on Scotland. But there should be one that's pits. Oh, I didn't get that one. They're not all here, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm moving on. You can do the, yes. Uh, so, yes, we have a totally different take on a coronation mug but how fun is this um charles yeah not regina what is it it's uh, the other word i can't uh, remember now somebody will tell us yeah um king charles the third 2023 the coronation so that one's really fun and then we managed to just get a few of the ones they had left the queen commemorative one so that's the that's queen that's a nice one i really like that um with the yeah. the queen's life dates on so that's a nice you know matching set and then this is the other one, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, um, that was last year. Hard to believe. Um, and the duck, it's a very stokey, as in Stoke on Trent. Is it? Saying they say hello duck. Oh, they do say what's up duck. What's up duck? Um, it's people. duck, not duck. Duck or whatever. <laughs> so the duck is a, like a symbol from that area, very local to that area. Yes. And then because I'm from near Manchester. <laughs> So the Manchester Bee is a thing, um, it's the symbol of Manchester and if you go to Manchester they have bee things everywhere and this is the design of the Manchester Bee, I think it dates from the, there was a big a cotton manufacturing industry and the busy bee, the buzz of the city, um, so we have the Manchester and the I love Manchester, so that one will go home with me, thank you. <laughs> and then a matching coaster, beautiful um, tile yeah. really yeah but for a tile one it's nice and smooth it's finished nicely and it's got a really nice cork, cork backing. Backing. yeah very like nice yeah. very nice yeah so last but not least we managed to snag a few of these um for our local folks walkies in acton because we know there are hundreds of dog owners out in the area um, we'll see how it goes. We might get a few different ones after if that. If people, people, yes. Like uh, no, one. but not, you have to look again on the back. It's a dog's life. Yeah. So that's fun. It is. And then this one, um, it's their buzzing around range. Shall we put the bee's knees is buzzing? It's very cute, isn't it? I love the flowers. I love the flowers. And my favourite is the bee's knees is my happy place. <laughs> so we, we had these custom made. Yeah. yeah. That is a lovely mug. I, 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 I love that one. So that's small and pottery. Small and pottery. So um, it should appear in the brand's menu soon. If not, just type in up top left, small and pottery, and you'll find all the mugs. Yeah, but yeah we're excited. We've now got to find somewhere to put them in the shop. Oh, uh, yeah. Just a clarification on what they're made of. They're stoneware. They're stoneware. Yeah, they're stoneware. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Completely unrelated question. Spring form pans. Oh, oh spring form pans. We don't, we don't have, have spring. We don't have any, no. Does Silverwood do a spring form? I don't think they do, ones. they do the take apart one that we showed on the video, our last video. Um, it's called, we call it the cheesecake pan. There's an octagonal one and a round one that basically comes apart. There's the base and the two sides that comes apart. It's clamped um, into the base, so. But Silverwood, whose pans we stock, they, I'm almost certain. Uh, we'll do double check, them. but I don't yeah. think they do as a three or four. Any other questions? That's, that's, that's great. Well, that was short and sweet, we hope. Um, <laughs> So thank you for watching and have a great rest of the day. Great rest of the day. Take Bye. care. Bye.